Hello everybody and welcome back. It has been a while. On the last time we finished our Let's Play and today we are going to start a new Let's Play. And many people have guessed what it might have been. But no one was right because the next Let's Play will be Portal. So we're going to be playing Portal on the Switch. That's right. Uh, this will be our third Let's Play counting Minecraft. And this is a fairly short game built by Valve, uh, that's right, the people that own Steam. Back in the day, uh, I think this game came out in 2017? No, 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 2007, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, way earlier. Um, so it was initially released when a trio pack, so it came bundled with... Uh, I think Half-Life 2 Episode 2, as well as uh, Team Fortress 2. So it was basically a kind of like a little add-on because to those other games were already established franchises, Half-Life and Team Fortress. So this came in and somehow became the most popular of the games. Uh, so we'll just get started right away. We'll start a new game. And you can see it's broken into chapters, uh, so we'll just start at chapter one right at the start. Okay. So, those of you who don't know, uh, Portal is a puzzle game. Uh, you can see we're just in this little small chamber here, starting out, it's first person, uh, not a whole lot going on, it's a, uh, the idea of the game is we use portals to solve puzzles. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Wait, please refrain from what? The portal will open in three, two, one. Um. Okay. Well, that's really that. That was really sketch. So we're in the enrichment center, which kind of looks like a prison. Um. <clears throat> and we're gonna be doing testing, testing for this facility. Uh, we can kind of see ourselves here. If you see we have these boots on, that helps with fall damage. Uh, so we're a woman named Shell. You can kind of see her here. Uh, and the person, the AI talking to us was GLaDOS, but we'll get more into that later. So we have test chamber zero. Okay, well, I guess let's just get going. Um, so it's very sterile. Very sterile. Very kind of uh, science lab uh, feel. So we step on the button and the cube falls. We can go and pick it up with a R and put it on the button. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing the okay, test. Okay, and so after we complete the test, that was our first Note test. The we the particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay, so yeah, that is basically gonna be our gameplay loop. We solve a puzzle, go through that field, uh, and go down to a next our next puzzle. So let's just jump down. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super Okay, button. we will put it on the heavy colliding super button super uh, cube. I'm not sure what she said. So it's been uh, quite a while since I played this game, honestly. I, uh, I bought this duo pack when it first came out on the Switch. I'm, I can't quite remember when that was off the top of my head. Uh... Let's see, we just have to wait for the puzzles, or the uh, portals to change, and we can put the button there. Perfect. 
Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. There we are. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't letting me drop it. That was kind of weird. Um, wait, how do we get out of here? Uh, there we go. So, yeah, it, it's been a little bit, so some of these puzzles might take me a little bit uh, to solve, depending on how hard they are. Uh, these first ones are pretty easy. They just kind of to let you get familiar with the controls and the mechanics. and So we can kind of see how the portals work. There's a blue and an orange portal, and we can go through them to literally teleport around. Okay, so we are on... Two. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and tooth teeth. Tooth enamel and teeth. That is terrifying. So if we taste blood, that's not normal. That's good to know. Uh, I guess we can just go right through this door. Um, oh, oh, sweet. If we jump down here, we're already getting our portal gun. So Very now we good. have the ability to place you blue portals. Uh, you, you can... Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... See, this keeps happening too. She keeps, uh... To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, it's kind of weird. She keeps, uh, like... What am I trying to say? Like... She, she, she's giving me warnings, but the warnings are uh, pretty vague, like, because they keep cutting off. For your own safety, do not destroy uh, I don't like her, so we're going to destroy the destroy the stuff. So here we have this radio. Uh, I just want to show what happens to the emancipation grids here. Yeah, so that that's what would happen to your teeth uh, if you tried to walk through it and... Whatever GLaDO said happens, happens. Okay, so we have our portal gun now. I know I'm trying to talk, but uh, GLaDOS keeps cutting me off, and I just I want to let her talk. Um, yeah, this is the first game I guess I'm playing that has voice, um, like people, like what what is it called, voice actors. Um, and GLaDOS has a lot to say, so I'm gonna let her speak. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. What's below here if we look? Um. Okay, so it's, it's just a little gap. Um, I am gonna take these out though. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm going to anyways. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Um. Okay, that's kind of weird. Bring your daughter to work day, have her tested. Even though she said, like, these tests can... These tests can apparently mess you up. It's like, if you're bleeding or if you get amputated, like, that's not part of the test. But just heads up. And to avoid it, we're not gonna... Like, we're just not gonna tell you. So. Let's go. We are on puzzle four now? Yep. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. So if we hit that button... Yeah, we, we've heard you. So let's see if we go. Uh, oh, right there. We can take that button and just put it right here. Pick it up and put it down. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. So it looks like. They're, like this is like a science lab right and there's people like those are offices where people should be should be working but I don't really see any people okay so let's just I guess go to chamber five all right well yeah I hope everyone is enjoying this this is quite a spooky game actually when it's your first time playing through 
Like you're just kind of, I kind of forgot how you're very much just dropped into a jail cell and uh, then you're like told to test by a robot. I just want to point out too, it kind of tells you what hazards are here. You can die in this game. Uh, it's kind of hard though. Let's see if we put that there and we put that there. We can pick up our first cube. And it looks like we'll need two cubes for the store. Uh, so there's probably another cube down here. Yep. And that will go there. And perfect. So, uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to make episodes here. I haven't thought about it too much. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Okay, that's so sus. We're going to stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. This is like, all of these things just like make you wonder like what is happening here? Like what is going on? Okay, I got a bit of a loading screen. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like... So creepy, honestly. Like, GLaDOS is actually just like... While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject phone down here. Okay, we actually solved that too fast, so... Uh, that's something you want to keep in mind if you want to get all of the dialogue in the whole story. Um, you uh, you kind of have to wait a little bit because I solved it before she finished her first thought. So she wasn't actually able She the the programming is like she cut off like once you do that it's like oh she started like congratulating me. So that's why sometimes like you might just want to stand here and like listen a little bit to what she says. Uh, because otherwise if you're not getting the story and this is why I'm ch like I, I love this game is the story. But if you're not getting the story here, you're basically just solving uh, puzzles, which is fun. Like these puzzles, like some of these, like so far they've been pretty easy, but some of these puzzles can get quite fun. Um, but yeah, it's like when you start just listening to the story and it's just really interesting which parts get cut out too. Okay, let's see what wants. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay, well they've been disabled for our safety, so that's good, I suppose. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber The lock. Unstationary Scaffold. So yeah, it's pretty easy if you're, if you're actually following along. But if this somehow is your first time uh, seeing a portal uh, playthrough, you can actually follow how I am solving these puzzles to solve them. Because uh, there are multiple solutions. Usually these, these ones I actually don't know if there are multiple solutions. But because I've never actually watched anyone else play portal. Uh, but what are we actually doing here? Why are we up here? Why are we up here? I assumed we would need to be up here for something. Wait, wait, what? I am actually confused. Um, I put that portal there. Yeah, like, what, what's the point? How do I... Oh, I, oh my god, I didn't see... I literally had to turn around. Everyone is like... Yeah, we're not watching you to learn how to solve these simple puzzles. Okay, well that was chamber seven. Okay, starting starting to get more complicated, I guess technically, uh, because apparently I am a blind man. Um, I just could not. I solved the puzzle, and I'm like, no, no, yeah, no. What do we do? Oh man, uh, I actually played Portal Two first, um, and then came back and played Portal One. I can talk about that more later. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good so, luck. yeah, I, that's kind of friggin' nuts now if you caught that. Uh, okay, so we're actually gonna have to put another portal, I think, there. Um, okay, so that's gonna... Oh, it just dissipated. But, yeah, if you go into the ground, now you just straight up die. And they were like, oh, yeah. 
bring your daughter to test day. So I think we just have to put the portal there, and hopefully that was good enough. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's just like, it's so, like, suspicious, basically. It's just like, I would never bring my daughter to work here. I might actually work here. I do, I do love me some science. But, uh, oh, man. It's just, like, who, like, what is happening? And also, it doesn't, I'm not sure there's actually people up there. Okay, we just drop down here. And there's radios. I'm not sure why there's radios. I... I actually, I don't even know what other people have to say about that. Like, I know there's like a lot of theories about something. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. So any appearance of danger is just to enhance our testing experience. Okay. Right. Whatever. That is, <laughs> that is not like, what? Oh, uh, yeah. But... Yeah, I actually played Portal 2 before Portal 1, and it's really crazy how that worked out. Um, because I actually, I asked for the orange box for Christmas one year. And we can talk about that more in a second. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Okay, make no attempt to solve it. But, uh, yeah, I actually, I, uh, I asked for the orange box for Christmas, and my mom went to actually get it for me. I, I can't remember how old I was. No, th there we go. There's the impossible task. Fantastic. Test. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Um, but the, the, the guy actually, like, the person there to, like, when my mom went to pick it up, like, convinced her that it was a bad game. Like, it was, like, a trip. Like, the 3D pack, I wanted the, like, all three, but I really wanted to play Portal. And I, like, she was like, yeah, I didn't get it for you because the person there was just like, yeah, it's a terrible game. He won't like it. Like, all this, like, very negative stuff. And, and my mom, like, bless her soul. She, like, she doesn't, like, know. Like, like, wh like why wouldn't she believe person who Hello works again. there, right? To reiterate. Okay, GLaDOS is being weird. Uh, but there we go. There's our first momentum puzzle. If you go through the portals, you build momentum, and so you can fly through at a vector, like, in a velocity. So if we do it there, we'll probably make it even further because we jumped higher, so we've got more momentum. Uh, pretty big. Uh, I mean, if you... Any, if anyone's been taking like a physics class, it's pretty. Um, oh, if you do a crouch though, it won't work. Uh, yeah, if you go through it multiple times, you'll build up more and more speed. As I was gonna say, anyone who's taken like introductory physics kind of should understand this, uh, how this works. Uh, so it's not too too bad. It's pretty similar to real life actually. Uh, let's see what do we have to do here. Where's our portal? So it's right there. We can just let's see if we. Jump and go. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Yep, basically. So now we'll do the opposite. We'll place where we'll come out of compared to where we'll jump in. And it's, uh, I'm playing on Switch. It's A to jump. I'm still just learning the controller. I told you it's been a minute. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yeah, so uh, basically exactly that. Exactly what she just said. Um, so yeah, uh, the guy basically at like Walmart or whatever uh, told my mom not to get the game. Like convinced her. Like like, like very much was negative. And she, so she got me some other game. And like, well, that was fine, but... I, so I never played Portal and when it came out, and I and then like eventually I kind of forgot about it or like you know didn't have money because I was a kid until I was in high school when Portal Two came out, and I was like holy shit, I this was like man I wanted Portal so bad when I was a kid never played it now I have to play Portal Two. Okay. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. 
Endangered testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid Okay, well, we'll try to avoid the floor because it will kill us. Uh, oh, there's another portal gun there. Um, but I think I'll actually leave it off on Chamber 11 here. And on the next episode, we'll continue making our way through these testing facilities. Peace.